Hi, so for this section we are going to build a sales order data mapper and remember that for each table you are going to use you will need a mapper, a data class mapper to process the data inside it. So we have two tables, the product and the sales order data tables. So we need two mappers for each one of them. And also for each one of them we need a data record to store the data that we need from our SQL statement. If you remember we need the product name, product number, and the sales order quantity and the line total. So let's start ahead by building our sales order data mapper, which is going to process the table the sales order data CSV file. So type in here sales. And since, uh, since it's a mapper class, it extends mapper here. And the first thing to be is going to be a long writable. So right here, long, long writable. And then text and product ID key, which is going to be the output of this mapper and join generic writable which is also going to be one of the outputs of this uh, mapper as we have stated before the join generic writable is because we have two classes two mappers and both of them have different types one of them have a uh, double for the line total we're going to build soon and uh, another one have a na name and number of the uh, product so because we have two kinds of um, classes mappers so let's go ahead now and add our map method here so write down protected and void white map and we here the first thing we're gonna have is long writable. So write down here long writable, and it's going to be key. And the other thing we're gonna have a text and a value. And we have is we're going to write on the context to get an object from it to be context. And this is going to throw an empty object. And interrupted exception. And let's go ahead and build here. And we have for our string, we're going to um, separate our fields inside the uh, table. So we have product name, product uh, line, and product total. We're going to separate each one of those into a different field. So we are going to have a string, an array uh, string. So type in here string. And here type in record fields. This is going to be equal to value, which we are going to get from the text here, from the uh, data in our table. And we're going to change that into a string and we're going to split that and here to be now I think it's the other way around two uh, it's going to be a space so if they are separated by a space and we're going to get the uh, record field number four to be the product ID and the product uh, and the order quantity is going to be the record field number three and the oil line total is going to be the record field number eight so we are going to assign them into each one of them into a variable here so end product ID equals integer dot bars integer dot bars and and it's 
going to be a record field and it's going to be four and right down here that and for our line total also it's going to be end order quantity there's a type it here qty and here to be integer dot bars int and record fields and it's going to be number three and for our line total it's going to be double or we, and we are going to assign it to the uh, field number eight total here and double dot parse int parse double and record fields and here is going to be number eight and as we have added that, we need now to process the product ID to be the product uh, ID key for the whole record so we can process them in the final table. So we're going to get a product ID from here and a product ID from also the product mapper. So we want to put them both in the same basket, if we will say. So in order to do that, we need to assign uh, the product ID to want to be uh, the product ID key. So in here, just type in product ID key, product ID key, let's just do that, record key, and we're going to put towards the field product ID in here, this one, so type in product ID. And we want to assign it with a data record, so type in here product ID key dot data record. We actually have it. Yeah. And as you can see here, the data record here is a field that we have in the product ID key. We're going to assign it uh, with the product uh, ID. So for each uh, mapper, we assign the product ID uh, key with a data record. And here we have the product ID which we got here from our mapper. So now let's uh, process the two uh, other fields, the order quantity and the line total. Order. And we're going to build a sales order data record in the next section. So sales order data. We are going to emit the uh, product ID and the uh, sales order data record instances from this class. So in here, we're going to get the uh, sales order data. Record. We're going to get the order quantity and line total. So we can pass them to the sales order data record to process them. So here, just to type in order, and we're going to use join generic writable to get a generic record to process this record, the sales order data record here. We have an order quantity and line total, and each of them is like an end and a double, and in the product uh, mapper, uh, it's going to be a different um, uh, types for our fields. So we let's go ahead and get this join generic variable here to process the rest of the fields that we have in this record so let's call it generic record and this is equal to new new join generic and it's going to get the record here And we are going to write that into context dot write. And we're going to get the record key and the generic record. It's already made it for us.
And as we have seen till now in the sales order data mapper, we have split up uh, the fields in our table by spaces. We took the uh, fields that we want to process, the product ID and the order quantity and line total, and we assigned the product ID to be the product ID key that we are going to use for our mapper. And we're going to get uh, the data record assigned to that product ID key. And we have a sales order data record, which is going to get the order quantity and line total. And we're going to get that record into a generic record because we ha we have here a, a double and end, maybe in our product, we would have different kind of uh, types. So we want a generic record to process uh, the our data. And we are writing the context record key, which is the ID key uh, for this uh, for the for that line and the generic record that we are going to use. So in the next section, we are going to call the sales order data record. So until then, see you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next.